Uh, first, I, I want to start a little bit uh, about the history of the uh, development of our uh, course. Uh, our team is consists of uh, three uh, universities, Moscow State University of uh, Geodesy and Cartography, the National Polytechnic University of Armenia is my university, and the University of Latvia, the modest coordinator. And we discussed the um, course uh, in our team. The uh, original uh, name of the course was Information Literacy, Information Management, Data Analysis. Actually, this is not a um, name of the course. This is the uh, the look on the content of the course, what should be there. And when we discussed in uh, our team, we find out that uh, this um, attention is uh, uh, divided in the uh, several parts. Let's say this first part. It's uh, completely um, uh, soft skills course, but the other two parts, it's mostly uh, hard skills and maybe partly uh, transferable skills. And because of this, it is not so easy to, com uh, to combine them uh, all together in one course. And uh, taking into account the um, uh, modern si situation in the um, uh, subject area and the uh, needs of uh, doctoral students in, the uni in our universities and the needs of the universities at all, uh, at all we decided to split this course on two um, separate uh, courses to independent courses and slightly rename the, you know, the terms uh, because of the um, current uh, development in the, uh, this uh, field and the um, uh, more uh, uh, specific technical uh, terms to use. So, we uh, have now two um, uh, courses, uh, of course, uh, B3A, uh, which we called uh, Digital Literacy. I will present it right now. And the course uh, uh, B3B, uh, which uh, renamed to the uh, Data Analysis and Expert Systems, which will be presented uh, right after me by uh, say Sergei Krilov from uh, the guide. And when we go to the um, uh, target group for uh, our course, the core course of uh, digital literacy, in terms of our project, it should be doctoral students, supervisors, and administrators. But Actually, this course is uh, more wider, and it is, I can say that it is for the general public. So it can be useful for anybody. And uh, just um, concerning with the study program, uh, with the uh, needs and so on, it will be decided what to do uh, about this course. Uh, the course aims to give trainees the knowledge and understanding of what can, uh, constitutes uh, effective digital transformation, as well as the skills and uh, competencies of the effective use of the devices, software, mm, I mean uh, digital devices and software, and the internet at all to collaborate with others. Uh, and discover, use, and create uh, uh, digital information. Uh, it essentially combines, this course essentially combines the three uh, uh, main courses, which uh, was in, in, in terms, it's 
uh, computer literacy, information literacy, and uh, visual li literacy, which are combined together, we call um, digital literacy, and it is uh, maybe a common term uh, at the moment. Uh, as for the learning outcomes, we direct, directed by the uh, recommendations, which is uh, came to the root of the European qualifications uh, framework, and the, of course the national qualification framework as well. And uh, because of this, we we, we tried to uh, formulate them uh, as a set of uh, knowledge skills and uh, competence and uh, so we have uh, uh, one uh, learning outcome on of uh, each this uh, part and the uh, mainly this learning outcomes co covers the uh, whole content of the course because of this i don't think that we need uh, to uh, add some other uh, learning outcomes here as for the course content, uh, it's covered the um, current trends in uh, digital literacy and public awareness and consists of the six independent modules, which can be combined in one course as it is done here, or maybe it can be used separately uh, uh, depending on the needs of the uh, specific uh, uh, group of audience and uh, so on. So the first uh, module is called work with digital hardware. It will introduce to the different parts and types of uh, digital hardware and uh, their functions. Uh, difference between operating systems and uh, applications and their functions, as well as uh, peripherals and uh, portable um, uh, devices like, like uh, portable storage and so on. On the first look, it uh, looks like a very uh, simple and even maybe trivial uh, uh, module, but actually it is not so. Unfortunately, uh, all of us have a di digital uh, hardware, use the digital hardware, uh, but most of us do not know even uh, the parts of the hardware, uh, how to use it, how to use it effectively, and what exactly we can do with specific type of the hardware. Let's say it's easy to find out somebody who has very powerful smartphone, but he even doesn't know, but with, the, with this unit it's possible to do something else uh, than just to call to the friends and so on. The next uh, module is called online information access. It is very important at the moment because the most part of information now is concentrated in the internet and the course will present the concept of the internet and how to access it using a web browser and how to use search engines effectively and how to evaluate the results which came from the search uh, in, in genes uh, uh, when we, we sorting uh, the internet and searching the uh, information. Next model is um, uh, called the online communication. The model will show how to communicate online effectively using a web application uh, that are used for email and instant messaging, including uh, say uh, voice uh, and uh, video calls, conferencing and so on. And uh, at the moment it is uh, uh, have uh, most importance uh, because of this situation when we can't have uh, uh, contact meetings and have to do it all uh, online. And knowing such a things will be in the future also very important. 
The next module is um, uh, called safely and responsibly online action. When we act in uh, the uh, online environment, in the internet, it will be very important to be introduced to the uh, safety risks for individuals can face while using the internet, including uh, cyberbullying and uh, present scams and uh, how to avoid them, as well as best practices for the more safely sharing information online and just acting uh, online at all. The uh, fifth uh, module is creation of uh, digital content. It is also a very important part because uh, now the most part of the content, if not all the uh, contents uh, are digital and it is very important to know how to act with them. And because of this, this model will introduce to a course which is and uh, present how to perform basic uh, functions or tools, uh, mm, uh, for example, of uh, Microsoft Office 365, one of the uh, most powerful mm, uh, set of uh, online and offline tools which is available for the mm, education institutions uh, for free. And it will include um, also interaction of various, uh, various types of uh, digital content uh, to uh, combine in the uh, course content, in the uh, projects, and so on and so on. And the uh, last, the sixth um, uh, module we call the collaboration and management of content digitally. Uh, this, there are things which we are facing uh, every time, and the course will introduce to cloud services like uh, OneDrive, Outlook, uh, Teams, and how to apply their basic functions for collaboration, for management of tasks, times, uh, contacts, and to organize all our works in the uh, education, in research, uh, and in the everyday life uh, as well. Well, uh, what about uh, plant learning activities? As a teaching method, we uh, thought about the combination of the face-to-face -face and online education depending on the needs uh, uh, of the study program of needs of the uh, students and universities and it is based it should be based on the uh, situation based learning and experience that based learning for the theoretical training uh, for let's say lecturing and so on and team learning and project based learning for the practical uh, training let's say for lab work for practical uh, work uh, and so on uh, uh, during the teaching of this uh, uh, course and as for assessment methods we um, uh, thought about uh, synchronous uh, exams uh, mostly in face-to-face uh, -face about and uh, the asynchronous quizzing, uh, mostly online quizzing of the students. And of course, uh, as a final and most important part of assessment, uh, uh, project defense, which can be done face-to-face -face and online, it is not so big difference, but it is very important to understand first of all of practical uh, skills and competencies which is gained by the uh, trainees during this uh, uh, the implement uh, in implementing this uh, course uh, that's all i want to say about uh, the our course uh, thank you for your attention and if any question i'm ready uh, thank you Gabor. we have a uh, um 
question, comment from one of the participants. Yeah. Evgeny concerning the content of the course should be it only uh, oriented toward the doctoral students or it should be already done at the earlier stages, let's say bachelor or master science. There are a lot of suggested um, topics which probably should be already learned at the previous stages before even entering the PhD program. Could you please comment? Sure. Uh, as I told, this is, uh, this is the course which can be dedicated to the general public without any limitations of the age or, and maybe of the education level and so on. It can be included in study program on bachelor level, on master level, on uh, doctoral uh, level, but the content will be uh, a bit different. Uh, maybe deepness of the uh, uh, questions will be uh, uh, more uh, in the doctoral level and less in bachelor level, but of course this uh, uh, skills, this knowledge, these competencies will be necessary on all level, including maybe uh, schools, uh, even maybe kindergarten. Thank you, Georg. So in this case, as I'm understanding, it should be more adapted to the doctoral training centers uh, for the modest activities, not in general, but most just, just opposite. Now we're doing it for the doctoral level, but we can uh, uh, modify it. We can trans transit it to the uh, lower levels as well. Okay, thank you. 